All right, everyone. So we have people commenting and sending DMs saying that they're panicking. They don't know if North America is going to be directly involved in some type of conflict. They don't know how soon SHTF is going to happen and that everything going on is kind of stressing them out. Some people who never believed in prepping before and are just starting to realize now how vital it is are even thinking about going into debt to pay for like a year's worth of supplies all at once. First off, I'm not a financial advisor, but I don't think you should go into debt to buy prepping supplies. If you're just starting out prepping and are in a tough financial situation, I think the first thing you need to do is not panic. My opinion is that you shouldn't even be buying freeze-dried food or water rations from us or anyone else. Instead of going and buying the pricier stuff marketed towards preppers, here's what you should do. Go to whatever grocery store is the cheapest in your area and buy some rice, some beans, canned food, a few cases of water bottles, and a basic first aid kit. Then if you can, go online and buy some potassium iodide. I think it's a great thing to have with what's going on in the world. If you can do this all at once, good. If you need a couple weeks, that's fine as well. Once you have the basics or the foundation covered, what you should do is come up with a plan or some type of prepper fund to build on top of that to slowly buy more prepper supplies. I did mention this before in another video, but if people are sending out DMs like that, then I think it's worth repeating. For this fund, what you do is take money that you can afford to put aside money that you are comfortable putting away that isn't going to affect you. Whether that's $5 a day, $5 a week, or whatever, you take that money and start buying more preps on a weekly basis to have a longer term supply of food, water, and other more advanced prepper gear. There are some people who can just go and buy six months worth of food and water all at once, but that's probably less than 5% of our customer base. For the average person, especially in this economy, I think a plan like the one I mentioned is ideal. I really believe that the people who build their preps up consistently, even with small amounts of money, are better than the people who panic prep, get all excited for a week, and spend lots of money at once. The people who try to do everything all at once are going to burn out and then probably get frustrated and leave prepping altogether. The people who slowly build on a weekly basis are more level-headed, will continue to learn prepping, will be better off financially, and will be better off in the long run.